This is the new Omen Transcend 14 inch, the perfect gaming laptop for students or young professionals. With a discreet minimalistic design that does not scream gamer, but packs the power needed for both work and play. Inside it houses the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 processor or Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, depending on which version you choose. With Nvidia RTX 40 series graphics, and my favorite feature, a 120 hertz OLED display. To see just how versatile this laptop is, I traveled across the UK and used the Omen 14 inch as my main laptop of choice. A special thank you to Omen for sponsoring this video with Intel. For more information and pricing, it's all linked down below along with the specs of the laptop that I am using in this video. First, I needed to prepare the laptop before traveling and Omen sent me out a device bundle that also included the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless gaming headset that has some really cool features in regards to its connectivity to the laptop. It integrates with the HyperX accessories and the Omen laptops, but something that's absolutely blown me away is the size of this power supply. This thing's absolutely tiny. Usually when you have a gaming laptop, they have a huge huge power supply that just makes it really difficult to travel with. And also on certain things like aeroplanes, they're usually too big and powerful. The power supply is to be used on there for actually charging while you travel. Whereas this thing's super compact and it's only USB type C as well. So it's got great power draw efficiency for actually charging on the go. Right, so I've just arrived at the hotel and I did some light work on the laptop while on the train. This thing performed fantastic when it came to just, you know, standard sort of student and productivity stuff like writing in Word documents. Something dead smart about this laptop is it does have the ability to switch between different power modes. So you can have it where it, it draws much less power so you get much better battery life out of it than it would be if it was in high performance mode and it's very easy to do that on the laptop itself. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to test any games yet on the battery while traveling is because my internet at home is so bad. I didn't get to install any games in time before coming. But luckily, the internet here at the uh, hotel is much faster than what I get at home, miles quicker. So the game should be done within a couple of hours. So that means later tonight or even tomorrow when I'm taking the laptop out and about, I can really truly test its battery performance versus when it's uh, tethered to the wall. Thankfully, the downloads didn't take too long, but something really cool is the Wi-Fi 7 feature, which lets you leverage high-speed internet, which is perfect if you have a gigabit connection. Also ensures you're always connected to the fastest bandwidth available, so you get optimal upload and download speeds. No, I said, oh, why is my thing not loading in? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no internet. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so now I said, why is it not loading in my, my thing? You know, actually, so one of my biggest concerns about this laptop was the overall brightness performance and the OLED display, as we previously talked about, it's glossy. Being outside, it's super duper sunny. It's like an early morning here. The brightness on this screen is insane. Like I can actually read the text, no problem at all. We're on battery too. Brightness hasn't been impeded at all. You can see the sun, it's absolutely glaring, but I can still read my Word document. Absolutely no problem, which makes it perfect for, you know, working outdoors, especially in the summertime. The worst thing when you've got all your essays and student work to do, you've got to sit inside, you know, in your room. At least you can get out and about, grab yourself a little bit of a coffee and actually use this outdoors. Now there are a lot of advantages to the new Core Ultra 7 and also Core Ultra 9 CPUs that are available in these SKUs of laptops. For example, Intel is now leveraging AI features with the onboard APU, which now means you can process AI features directly on the CPU, whereas older Intel CPUs were doing this via the internet. A cool way you could leverage this is as a student for transcribing your lectures into a Word document via Otter AI. This essentially just generates notes from what it hears using your microphones in the laptop. And furthermore, on Zoom calls when using the built-in webcam, you can leverage AI features to obviously enhance the image quality and blur out the background without needing the need for a green screen. So what I've noticed is I did the Windows Hello with my glasses on. Now I've got my contact lenses in. It's not detecting my face because it, it's these with the glasses. So I either need to do it twice to log in profiles. Uh, so then that way I can use the Windows Hello feature. So I headed across town and re-optimized my Windows Hello to now detect my prettier face without my massive glasses on. And it was working perfectly fine after that, regardless of if I had my glasses on or not. I maybe just hadn't fully set it up properly the night before. I connected my Xbox controller via Bluetooth. Right, cool, that was super easy. We're all set up. We can now do a little bit of a game test with our Xbox controller via Bluetooth. While we were in this coffee shop, we finally took the opportunity to do a gaming test. I was super excited to see how this would transpire. Traditionally, when you try and game on a laptop, unless it's plugged into the wall, the performance is absolutely atrocious. However, for probably the first time ever, I was blown away by the performance of a gaming laptop on battery. So it's working great right now. Usually on like a laptop, when you remove the power, like 50% decrease in performance, but we're playing Cyberpunk at around medium graphics. 
looks stunning. Something interesting I also observed was how fast you could get back into a game. If you just literally closed the laptop lid, threw it back in your bag, and then opened it back up, the Windows Hello would trigger, and you would just have to reconnect your Xbox controller, and you can continue your game exactly where you paused it. And of course, because this laptop is an OLED 120Hz display with a 2.8K resolution, everything looked insanely sharp, and I didn't feel like I was compromising anything from my main gaming setup back at home that is on an OLED gaming monitor. I also felt much less self-conscious with this laptop in public. Whenever I take a gaming laptop out and about, it screams gamer so much and attracts a lot of attention because of all the RGB and flashing lights on the device. It was also fun to be able to travel with so much power and capability within the laptop where we didn't feel any form of a compromise in the tasks that we could achieve. This meant I could chill out with my mate and be a little bit more social while we were completing all of the work we would need to do, such as editing videos and quite demanding tasks when it comes to rendering different assets on my laptop that I would normally have to do on my desktop back at home. But I could do this in a social environment with a friend, we could have a laugh and it just meant we passed the time so much faster and also could have breaks in between our work playing a little bit of mini golf while the PC rendered out the video, for example. One thing I'm definitely enjoying with this laptop is how lightweight it is. I've used gaming laptops in the past and obviously they're very big and bulky when it comes to transporting it around. Also the power bricks also large that goes with it. But this has actually been an absolute pleasure to take in and out of the bag, super duper easy. And also like you can fold it and it opens up so fast with the windows. Hello, you just literally open it up, screen's super bright and you can resume the previous task that you're actually doing like instantly, it just detects your face and sorts it out. Intel Core Ultra 7 processor is a bit of a beast. With a total of 16 cores, it has six for performance and eight efficiency cores. And it clocks in at 4.8 gigahertz boost clock on the Core Ultra 7 and an impressive 5.1 gigahertz on the Core Ultra 9. I noticed with this new generation of Intel processors that the power efficiency and also temperatures were massively improved over past generations. This was noticeable with the significant increase in overall battery life I found while using this laptop day to day. And then enhanced multi-core performance definitely improved my experience when it came to gaming and also productivity. Yep. That looked good. Liking it. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were taking pictures. Sorry. Oh. So I find the tube, it's just quicker to walk. Yeah. You, know, you just literally, like, you come down the escalator, stand yeah. to the right because someone barges. I'm in a rush. Yeah. No one's in a rush that long. After ranting about how much I hate the tube, I got the chance to try working on the underground. Now, when I was a student, I actually lived in London for a couple of years. And there were countless times where I was completing some of my homework and assessments while traveling into university to do a lecture. Now, back then, the laptop I had was much bigger and bulkier than the Omen 14, which meant my backpack was super heavy. And also, it was just cumbersome to try and take it out of your bag quickly to do some last minute work. Now, thankfully, the Omen's thin and lightweight design allowed this to easily slip in and out of my bag and just simply place it on my knee and I could type away completing a variety of different documents. I'm glad that's over. It was way too hot. <laughs> The cool thing about Windows 11, I'm actually a big fan of Windows 11, is the almost the productivity side of it. You can have multiple different apps open, but they really click into place nicely now, which allows you to leverage the screen real estate that you've got. So obviously this is a 14 inch display. That's my preferred size when it comes to portability of a laptop, really. You can fit it in your bag easy, it's not too heavy. But now with Windows 11, you can really leverage the screen real estate that you have available to you, regardless of if you're on a smaller screen or a larger screen. Connections wise, this laptop is well equipped with two type C connection ports, one of which is Thunderbolt 4, a headphone jack, a HDMI output, and also two USB type A's. The only thing it is missing is some form of an SD card reader, which would have made it a little bit easier for me transferring my footage off of my camera. You can obviously get yourself an adapter to resolve this issue for about five pounds. And obviously the good thing about this Omen laptop is it does have a one terabyte NVMe SSD drive on there, so it's super fast storage. So you can both transfer and also offload data super fast. Because we've literally been able to just close the laptop reopen it back up and the likes of cyberpunk or whatever game we were previously playing is still available to us they're almost like quick resume on like an xbox console that storage is so fast just logging straight in and having your previous task ready to rock and roll as if you never even closed and shut the, the computer down which is very impressive like i really wish i could just take my xbox with me as a kid because i traveled a lot for work with that uh, it's like if you could have had this laptop back like when i was a child it'd been insane if you could play triple a games on this thing just completely on the go, without any issues. Better than even like a console back in the day. 
Yeah, it would have been awesome as a kid to have had this. Now let's get on to doing some benchmarking and gameplay tests, which is probably what you all want to see. First up, let's take a look at Forza Horizon 5. This game automatically wanted to run based off of the hardware specifications at the Extreme Graphics preset, which took me a little bit by surprise. So I went ahead and did this and was flabbergasted by the results. Running it with the power bank connected, we were easily hitting around 52 to 55 FPS within Forza Horizon 5 in an open multiplayer lobby. The fluctuation of the FPS was very consistent and I didn't notice any significant frame drops while playing this. And this was a particular title that I played for a few hours in the hotel room with my friend. Next, I then disconnected the power supply to see if there was a decrease in performance. The memory clock did drop by around 1,500 megahertz from 7,000 to 5,500, but this didn't seem to significantly impede the performance of the laptop. It was only a drop of around maybe three to four FPS, sometimes dipping into the high 40s. Odd, unpredictable frame drop when going into a more populated area. On the whole, the gaming experience, I would say was 90% similar to when it was actually connected to a power outlet. There's a cool feature when it comes to connecting gaming headphones to this laptop. If you use the brand HyperX, obviously HyperX and Omen are linked as product brands. So this means there is a 2.4 gigahertz connector built into the Omen gaming laptop. So that means it doesn't require the additional USB dongle to be connected into the laptop, which makes it much easier for portability. This will just tether directly to the laptop without any of those additional connections. The same is also true for connecting peripherals such as this wireless mouse that's also made by HyperX. This will connect directly into the laptop, which is nice and easy. Next up, we had Cyberpunk, something that's a little bit harder to run. Automatically, this game was assigned to a medium preset with low ray tracing settings, and also some additional settings were on high and ultra. I just left it at the default setup because that seemed to be the highest settings that it could run. While connected to power, we were experiencing around 45 FPS on this title, which I was pretty satisfied with. And then removing the power supply, I did see a drop of around five frames per second again, and also an increase in a few frame drops, loading in more populated areas, but on the whole, I would say performance was around 85 to 90% similar to when it was connected to a power source. Considering this laptop only has the lower end RTX 4060 graphics card in it, I could only imagine how great the experience would be on the top spec Intel Ultra 9 and RTX 4070 model. Yeah, Omen, O-M-E-N, yeah, 14 inch. It's available in black and white. Well, I personally expected to have issues with it on this trip from my experience with like other gaming laptops. Like the fans usually on a gaming laptop are like, and they haven't ramped it up hardly at all today. Right now I'm playing it plugged in with a power brick. We've got like fours are cracked up, gorgeous. And there's no frame drops. Also it's quite cool when I mute the microphone, it like illuminates bright red in front of me. So I know that it's like off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's comfy. I think it's got like noise cancellation and stuff like that, but I haven't really needed it because the laptop's so quiet. You know what? That was a lot of fun that being able to catch up with some mates. I, I usually have to travel so much for work now, like making videos and you know, going to different events that I, I don't have much time to actually play online with my friends back at home and yeah, I haven't literally played with that mate for I'd say like four or five months. It's been ages. So because I'm in the hotel and I've got some time to kill, being able to have this laptop, boot it up, play all of the games with my mate, just as if I'm on my Xbox or PC back at home, absolutely phenomenal. This thing plugged into the power wall, the performance is flawless. This definitely highlights how good gaming laptops are becoming. The fans didn't get loud. It didn't sound like an aeroplane while we were actually playing, but we've got aircon on in this room and the aircon was louder than the PC ever got during the high load operation on all the different games we played. Now I could, if I wanted to, actually plug the PC into this television in the hotel room so I could play it in bed here because it's getting late, it's almost midnight. It's Friday night, you know, chill out on there. But the quality of that OLED screen is so good. I don't want the downgrade of going to like an old LED panel here. Like the colors look so crisp on that laptop. So overall experience with the Omen 14 inch gaming laptop has been absolutely fantastic over the last couple of days using here in London. Now it's available right now currently at Curry's. It's literally just launched. It's one of the latest laptops that you can pick up in store or on the website using the links down below in the video description. So it's available in a few different product SKUs, whether you want the Intel Ultra 7 or the Intel Ultra 9 processor and also a variant of different NVIDIA RTX 40,000 series GPUs. I'll put all the info down below in the description so you can check that out because I think it's one of the best laptops you can currently get. The final thing I wanted to do was a quick teardown of the laptop just to see what the internals actually looked like. The rear back plate just simply lifts away after you remove these four tiny screws. This showcases the motherboard, the heatsink and the fans and the upgradable NVMe SSD drive which currently is one terabyte in this model but if you run out of space for your games and files you can always purchase a big one off the internet and just literally 
literally switch them out. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below to learn more about the Omen 14 inch Transcend gaming laptop. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.